What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Tonight is a huge fight night in the world of fighting. If you love fighting, Mayweather versus McGregor. I am very, very excited. I love boxing. Uh, I love UFC for the most part. I love both. I don't, I'm not like extreme, extreme love, but I definitely love a, a crazy fight like this. And I'm very, very excited. I cannot wait for this fight. Who do you guys got? Who's going to win? Let me know in the comments down below. Mayweather, McGregor, let me know. I'm going with McGregor by knockout. I hope I'm right. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Guys, let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Essential Phone. Uh, so last night I went to Hollywood, California, aka Los Angeles, and I got some hands-on time with that Essential Phone. The video is listed in the description down below if you wanna see what I thought about this phone. And uh, people at the event, so it was a VIP event at first for the first hour, and then after the last couple hours were actually for people that pre-ordered the phone, it was kind of weird. So I guess it was just people directly in Los Angeles. I don't even know how these people were contacted. I don't know if they're people that are connected within the industry or not. But what was interesting, they got their phones last night. And also what's been going on is people have been getting, receiving emails, uh, verification emails, that the essential phone is shipping out, which is awesome for you guys. I know I pre-ordered one. I have not heard back uh, from them which is fine with me because I'm actually trying to cancel my order. Uh, Essential said they're gonna try to get me one shipped out and at that point, I don't need two of them and I don't need to be spending 700 bucks on a phone and then also get a free, it's, I don't need it. I'd just rather get them ship me one and uh, get my hands on it that way. So uh, if your phone shipped, awesome. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, what's interesting is that an email went out uh, from Essential saying that uh, the phone is certified for T-Mobile, Sprint, uh, and AT&T, but not Verizon just yet, just yet. They said the Verizon model, uh, or not model, but the Verizon certification should be gone uh, going through in the next, it doesn't say a few days, but it says very, very soon. I'm assuming the next few days to weeks. Uh, so we'll see if you're on Verizon, you won't be able to use this phone just yeah, which is a big disappointment, but not very surprising. And our last story of the day is about the NVIDIA Shield Portable 2. Now this is an unreleased device. A user on Reddit uh, posted some photos information on this device. He went to a pawn shop and he saw it. It's weird because it says he didn't know what it was, but he, shipped, he traded in his NVIDIA Shield for it. Okay, cool. And hey, then he realized uh, after posting photos and things of it on Reddit, people told him, hey, that's the second version of this device. And uh, that's a very rare thing because it was never released. It's a developer version set that a developer would create games and, and apps through. And he's got a very, very rare thing. Well, it looks like some of the specs on this thing is that it had a 1440 by 810 display, a uh, the same processor, I, I believe, as the NVIDIA Shield, which is the X1 Tegra, and then also three gigabytes of RAM. So it would have been a very, very powerful device, a very high resolution display, which is awesome. And also, uh, you can see some photos of it here. The design of it does not look that different compared to a NVIDIA Shield controller, the, the, the first version. So the design isn't beautiful, but it definitely is very cool to see. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question of the day is, what is your favorite portable gaming system of all time? For me, I'm not a big portable gaming system. I think they're cool, but by the time I got older, you know, the Game Boys, I never thought they looked cool. They were kind of in black and white or green or some ugly color. So never got into those. Uh, if I had to put some, it's a, you know, like what my favorite was, I, I, right now, I would say a phone. It's just so, a phone is so portable, you can do anything with it, and to be able to do gaming on it is very, very cool, but as for like a gaming console, at, at this point, I'd probably say the Nintendo Switch. How cool is that to be able to play high-end gaming with a controller built right in, and, or plug it into a dock and get that full uh, gaming desktop experience? Guys, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road. Peace!